All right. So I think we should start the meeting then without further ado. So let me see, uh, 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 Johanna, do you want to share updates from Zeek LT team? Okay, uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. There's actually not super much that is interesting. So we have um, spent the most, most of the time, I think, spent talking about Zeek Week. Um, there will be a registration will start being opened next week is the plan. And um, I think if you go on the web page now, you can see the Seek Week web pages. I think the um, it just changed and under the events tab that now is Seek Week 2022. And yeah, we just spent a lot of um, time discussing logistics. Um, one of the things that's going to be different this year is that on the first day, there will be um, two simultaneous Seek trainings by um, the SEEK team, one focusing more on um, beginner people and more on um, advanced people. But I assume that, Fatima, perhaps you're going to say more about that. Um, apart from that, we um, spent a bit of time talking about uh, project testing because um, SEEK 5 was just released yesterday. And obviously, during the last meeting, um, the testing of SEEK five was still going on. And I think those were actually the major things that we were have been doing in the last month. Awesome. Um, are there any questions for Johanna regarding the updates that she gave or anything else? Okay, so if not, then I will ask Robin if he would like to give um, Zeke technical updates. Sure, happy to. Um, and uh, yeah, the main technical update Johanna already mentioned, uh, Zeek 5.0 came out yesterday. Um, yay, I see, <laughs> cheering, uh, exactly. So as, as sometimes happens, it took a little bit longer to uh, actually get that into shape, um, but um, we got it under control. Also, Ashish is not on the, on the call here, but Ashish was really helpful. Uh, in testing this and, and kind of uh, finding those graph edges that we had still in there, particularly a larger memory leak. Um, so that was good use of the time for the release candidates. And uh, yeah, final version is out. I actually just um, pushed public, uh, pushed publish <laughs> on a blog posting this morning that summarizes um, the, the main things that are new in Zeek 5.0. Um, I, I think maybe you can just just very quickly go through um, some pieces there um, to remind people I've been talking about some of this in, on earlier calls already. But the, the two headliners for five um, are really um, on the one hand built in SPICY integration. So SPICY, our new parser generator that has been out and in production for a while as a separate project so far. And we have now merged it uh, as a core component into Zeek itself. So whoever, uh, builds or downloads uh, Zeek will automatically have spicy support built in. And um, that is really exciting because it means going forward, uh, both packages and um, Zeek itself can actually start relying on spicy because people will just have it. Um, the second one is um, the replacement for Zeek control that uh, Christian in particular has been working on for, for a while now, and it has reached a really nice state at this point where it su fully supports single system clusters. So we don't like extend to multi-system clusters yet with a new framework, which is called the management framework. Um, um, but but um, it, it should be uh, fully operational at this point for what most people do, namely running multiple Zeek processes on a single system. So all those, those workers, uh, manager, logger, um, can now be managed by this new uh, management frameworks. And I encourage, encourage everybody to, to give this a try. So there's documentation, um, it's linked from the blog posting, it's part of the manual. And uh, we would be super interested in feedback. I mean, we will probably have a, um, a couple of edges still, but, but we are really interested in in, in first what they are and also what's missing. So, so because it doesn't yet support every single feature that the control had, um, but um, I think it's, it's, it's pretty solid at this point. Um, the control is not being replaced just yet. So we will support that um, for, I don't know, probably at least until Zeek 6, I would, I would, I would guess. Um, 
but I do encourage people to give this a try. This is this is the new world. <laughs> it is much better. I mean, it's there's there's so many um, of the the weird things about the control that this new management framework doesn't have anymore. Um, yeah, and then there's actually a long list of other stuff. So, so I don't know, we, we warn about unused functions, hooks, and event handlers in your Zeek script. So if, some, if there's code in there that's not actually being called, and maybe you don't uh, realize that, um, you might get a warning now. Um, Zeek has now a WebSocket interface, so that is, um, you can exchange events with external uh, clients, external applications with Zeek, as you would normally, or in the past would have done that through broker. Um, you can now do that uh, through WebSocket. So you can use like, like standard toolboxes. Um, it's a JSON encoding over, over WebSocket. Um, and uh, you don't need broker anymore on your end, which is pretty cool, which the uh, capability which the Zeek agent, um, the, our experimental endpoint agent is already using in the version that was actually also just released yesterday. Um, there's there's a bunch of new stuff on on, on profiling and performance uh, compilation of Zeek scripts uh, got a major extension. Um, event traces can now be recorded and replayed if you don't want to keep the packet traces. Uh, TLS can be decrypted for the first time um, in a very specific setting, um, but a so specific cipher, specific TLS version. Um, you need the keys, but it's 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 pretty cool functionality that that uh, Johanna shepherded in. And um, yeah, there's under the hood, we, we maybe two, two couple of things, two things under the hood of the system is um, a major re-architecture of broker. So even though for external clients actually in the future, it's not even necessary anymore internally, we of course continue relying on broker for all the cluster communication. So there's a lot of work um, that Dominic has been contributing there on, on, on modernizing the code base, re-architecting it for, for better performance, new features and uh, maintainability. And um, Tim modernized, uh, in, in, in Tim's quest to modernize the C++ core code base that has been going on for quite a few releases at this point, he this time threw out our old custom implementation of a DNS resolver that has been in there from, I don't know, first Zeek version ever, I believe, um, um, is now using the, 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 the CARIS library, if I pronounce that correct. Yeah, so that, that's a bunch of Zeek stuff. Um, on, the, on the tooling side, this is something we have been, I think, talking in this meeting about earlier already as well. We have two new tools that are kind of graduating, I would say. So one is um, tools for, for script writers, I should say. So one is Zeek format um, out of uh, 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 Christian's uh, place of work, <laughs> um, which is uh, essentially a Clang format or a Go format just for Zeek scripts. So that is uh, super helpful. It enforces the Zeek style on your scripts, which you might like or not, but it's it's the one style that uh, exists, <laughs> or that yeah, that's there. And uh, the the second Benjamin has um, developed a Zeek language server, so then LSP implementation, so that your editor can do can provide all kinds of helpful to you writing a Zeek script, like code completion, go to definition stuff, on demand documentation um, that integrates, I don't know, into, uh, into uh, uh, Visual Studio, into, into Vim, Emacs, I believe, Christian has running, right? Yep, yeah, that's right. Running. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, this, is, this is really, really nice stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. So the, um, yeah, I just, I think I'll just wrap it up here. Mentioned the Zeek agent already. So that's out yesterday too. Thanks. That's perfect. Sorry, go ahead, Robin. <laughs> That's perfect. Are there any questions for Robin um, on the technical side Zeek updates? No. All right. So if not, then I can ask Christian that if he likes to share words or, you know, have some cool details on what he has been working and his contributions to Zeek 5.0, if he wants to. Uh, sure, uh, but it's basically perfectly summarized by what uh, Robin just said. So it, it, it was all in there. Um, the 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 Zeek format thing, maybe just to follow up on that very quickly, is like this is this is not at all final. We're sort of in this in this funny state where there isn't really a coding standard or coding style for for Zeek script. Um, they, they they sort of you know have been established by a, a fact of what's been committed. Um, so we're sort of going in circles, sort of between like what that style should look like and 
Um, I know that several folks have tried it in, at this point, and and sort of there's emerging con, sort of convergence, I'd say, uh, on 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 what is the right look. So if you try it right now, you will probably not find things that look as you like. You can flag those. But it'd be particularly helpful if you find things that just look broken, if you manage to get it to a point where it actually breaks your script or something like that, which hopefully really shouldn't happen at this point. Um, so that would be helpful. Uh, we'll be talking about this stuff at, uh, at Zeek Week as well. Um, and other than that, I think I, I really have nothing. This is perfect. Um, there will also be more about the management framework um, to, to show people uh, maybe in, in, a, in a webinar or some such uh, in the near future. Uh, Fatima, you and I have been talking about how to cover this in the training sessions, right? So that's also forthcoming. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Christian. And um, then now I can give you a pretty quick update on the training site. So this year, we will be ramping up our training curriculum for introduction to Zeek, and we will be adding new sections on uh, based on the feedback that we got from our training a couple of months ago. People would really like to see how you install Zeek in production and how you clusterize it. So there were a lot of questions about, well, where do you put Zeek workers? Where do you put, put tabs? And how a production cluster looks like? And we never covered that in our training because that was more intended towards the beginner's audience. So this year, we are going to ramp up our training curriculum to add topics like how you run in how you run Zeek in cluster. And we will be discussing different cluster architectures that are like actually in production, like what we do in at ESNet, what we did in um, uh, uh, in um, Indiana University, like what Keith has done in Indiana, Indiana University, so on and so forth. So we will have like real use cases of how you deploy a Zeek cluster in production. So we will be adding that in curriculum so that people who would really want to uh, know about Zeek clusterization and how you deploy Zeek in multi-system setup, then that would be really useful information for them. Apart from that, we also are going to ramp up our uh, discussion on the frameworks because this year, both the trainings, as Johanna mentioned, both the trainings will be running parallel. So we will have more time to indulge in our trainings. So we are going to utilize that time. And then we, we are going to um, discuss more about the common frameworks that are really useful to know in Zeek. So we will be including, um, we will be including uh, training material on Config framework, Intel, Notice, Input, uh, Logging, and Broker. So these are the like top five frameworks that we are thinking of right now to include in our training. So that would be really helpful to people as well who really want to play around um, Zeek and how you deploy Zeek in, uh, in cluster and how you can uh, use all these uh, cool features that Zeek already comes with. And last but not the least, this year, Christian has generously um, agreed to help us uh, in um, in uh, in adding an, another new topic to our training uh, based on the new Zeek management framework that he has been working on. So we will have a whole new section on exclusively on Zeek uh, management framework that Christian will be talking about. So that will be another addition and ramping up of our training. So we are really excited because we have been talking uh, a lot in our um, training subgroup meetings that how we can prepare the material so that it is not only addressing the beginner's audience, but also intermediate audience. And it can be really helpful for people who really want to play around Zeek in production environments. So these are some of the topics that we're right now brainstorming. And um, we haven't come up with the training material yet, but it's just like in the planning phase at what we would really like to include in this year's training. So we are really excited and uh, we are really looking forward to the new um, training um, curriculum and what feedback we're going to get from people who will be attending this training for the first time because we have never given uh, training on these kind of like specific topics before. So that's the uh, update from the training side and um, that's it. So uh, if there are any questions regarding training technical updates or LT, then uh, please ask us. And if there are not, then we can all have our 40 minutes back of our life. So are there any questions? All right. Well, then you guys have a good rest of your day and then I will see you guys next month and take care. And thank, thanks again for joining and for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Fatima. Bye.